So I'm here today to talk a little bit about cleaning your MaxFlow chainsaw filters. Um, the filters, they can get really, really nasty and still work. This is an example of one that a logger was using. It was out for several days and um, it's pretty well caked with crud. Uh, the important thing is inside of the filter is still clean and uh, so he didn't run it too long. If you look down inside here and you begin to see dust and dirt, that just means you've gone a little bit too long between cleanings. Also the throat of the carburetor, you'll begin to see a little bit of dust. So you can clean it before this. This one had just the right amount of oil in it. You can see it's fully impregnated, plus there's a little bit of extra here on the edge. So it had not run out of oil. It was still doing its job. Here's another pretty nasty filter. Once again, guys run a pretty long time before they bother to to clean them. So here we've got a nice new white filter. I've got some no-toil filter oil here. You can use a lot of different brands of filter oil. Bell Ray is a really common one that we recommend, but Klotz, PJ1, any one of them will work fine. Um, as long as it's for foam filters, you don't want to use anything for gauze. And most definitely don't use uh, motor oil or your bar oil. As far as cleaning it goes, most guys just grab gasoline, put it in the gasoline, wash it out until there's no more particles that are inside of it. Then uh, use your uh, your dish soap. I like um, Dawn dishwashing liquid, cuts the oil really good. Wash it out really well with dish soap, warm water, and then set it out and let it dry overnight, and then re-oil it the next day. You can also get filter cleaners from like No Toil. They make a nice one, plus it makes your hands clean. I like to use these... Um, little uh, gloves when I put this stuff on. So anyways, here's uh, two ounces of foam filter oil. I'm just going to put it on a half an ounce at a time and um, we'll see how this goes. I put it in the inside of the filter. It's easier that way. Just stick it on here. I borrowed one of my wife's horse syringes here to be able to measure it a little more accurately. Okay, so you can see inside there there's quite a bit of oil. And then I'll just begin to work it into the foam, just squeezing it. And right now, if I look in my knuckles, I'm not quite getting uh, enough. I'm going to just put a little bit more on. This is pretty nicely covered. You can look inside here. And it's worked its way all the way through. That was with a half an ounce of oil on a brand new white filter. I'm going to put just a little more so that I can see it coming through my knuckles here. So we're just going to put a little bit more on. Once again, it doesn't take very much. So now we've got a little over half an ounce of oil. Just going to work that through. I don't know if you can see my knuckles here where the oil is just beginning to squeeze out. So about a half an ounce is what you need. There we go. Once again, you see the oil just beginning to squeeze out. And that's excess oil, so you don't need to have that oil on the filter. It's not going to do any good. And there we go. When you get to that point, I'm going to use the cage out of this one here. Get that cleaned off. And then just insert it into the filter. this and center it up and um, that's it that filter is ready to go out and work again